Welcome back everybody to this new video of Taxpress. Today, let's see how we can install and set up the GitHub Copilot with Visual Studio Code. Let's see how we can get started here. So, the GitHub Copilot is an AI-powered code completion, completion tool that helps you write coding faster and smarter. So, it suggests whole lines in the blocks and code based on the context of your work. To get started, first of all, we need a GitHub account and a Visual Studio Code installed into your computer. So I'm going to open a new tab. Into a new tab, I'm going to just type GitHub. So inside the GitHub, what you want to do is just access the actual element, which is GitHub. And here I'm going to just look out for sign up. Once you have joined the GitHub section, what you can do is to focus. In this case, I'm going to focus for a free person. So we are now inside the dashboard of the GitHub. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, you can go directly into the link down below in the description or just go into code.visualstudio.com to download the version suitable for your operating system and follow the installation instruction. It's going to be really, really easy actually. So once you uh, download the Visual Studio Code, what you want to do is to go directly into your downloads so you can install the actual application, the Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to just go ahead and go for and the, uh, making the installation directly into my computer. Now let's access the actual Visual Studio Code extension marketplace. So in this case, I'm going to go for the Lord Dark Mountain. So in this case, I'm going to just go and go all the way up like this. And here, what you want to do is to open the Visual Studio Code. If you focused into the left part, we see Run in the book, we see Source Code, Searched Explorer. Let's go directly into Extensions. Into Extensions icon active bar inside the coin though we want to look out here for the upper side and look out for get have copilot so you should be seeing here the actual get have uh, added here so in this case here is the get have copilot make sure this one is verified ownership by github so you get to hit now and to install so after the making the installation of this extension uh, what I need to do of course is to sign into my github account we so click into sign in now this one should be telling us to sign in directly here. So I'm going to try to use exactly the same elements here. I'm going to go for sign in and I want to authorize the Visual Studio code. So I get into authorized and I always love to open uh, links like this. This one automatically should be sending us now directly here into the GitHub code palette where we are now signed in. So once you're signed in, what I wanted to do, of course, is that you currently looked at and let's go here for sign up for the GitHub code palette. So we can start a 30 day free trial if you wanted to, so we can have access directly for the GitHub code palette. So I'm going to focus here into my monthly plan. And of course, let's go for get access to the GitHub code palette. So in that case, we're going to add all the information about the link information in order to continue. Now we can use the GitHub code palette to first install the GitHub code palette extension. So let's go back directly into the visual element here and make sure that we are now able to get started in signing in directly here into GitHub. I wanted to make sure that my token has now been allowed. So I have, as you can see, GitHub code palette. We have the get GitHub code palette and GitHub code palette chat. So make sure that here inside my credentials, that I do have access directly here into my uh, booked and all of those elements. So as you can see, I can click here into my GitHub and you can see that we go for manage trust and section and make sure that I do have access directly into the GitHub. So we have now added GitHub directly into the voiced, uh, the section of this application. Now, in this case, you want to of course to access and configure the settings. So once you can start using this, let's go directly into the settings. So let's go here into the left part that says settings. And by clicking on the gear icon into the low left corner, let's select the settings elements. So we can search for Copilot to see available uh, sections. So we go for Copilot, and you can see the here into the extensions of Copilot enabled. So for example, I do have the setup of the plain text marked down as MS input, um, auto, preferred account, and much more elements. So as you can see, this one has now been active. So we can enable, make sure the copilot is enabled. So as you can see here, it's enabled, right? So with the GitHub copilot set up, you can start using it. So we can open a new file or existing project into Visual Studio Code. So begin by typing your code. So file, let's go for new file or new text file as you wanted to. And here, what you want to do is to just enter a file name. 
So let's say, for example, that I go for Ctrl L, this is to really new. So select a language for a template or from different editors, start type to dismiss, or just to show this again. So just add a code, we'll start chasing code completion based on the context. So I asked my chat to help me create a folder for an HTML file. So I can use this folder to copy it and paste it into my new element here. So as you can see here is the copyright, let's say for example, the copyright and ed everything of course should be added here and I can forward more prompts. So here it is and I can use this reference. So instead of closing this, I can use copy. How do I link to a folder into the HTML file, for example? And the HTML should be helping me to understand how to do this process. So to so add a link to the folder in HTML, you can use the A anchor element inside your folder. So here's how you can actually do it. So there we go. Then what I can do, of course, is to go and queue into space. And when I type something, the high abbreviation, much more elements that we can add directly with the GitHub. So this is how, guys, we can actually use the GitHub um, Copilot chat using this great visual element application. So with that being said, guys, you have over to the very end of the video. You now know how to get started using this great, great application. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more great tools on how you can use the GitHub Code Palette and much more elements using this great, great application of the Visual Explorer. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.